Okay, so let's revise this mathematics paper one, uh, 9th November 2022. That was written by the school certificate ordinary level candidates. So I'll just revise the four questions from here. I'll solve this question here first. Okay, so which question I need? This one here, which says um, evaluate. 3 over 2, which is in a bracket. So this is a matter of uh, indices. So these questions come from uh, indices. So this question, this is how it should be solved. So these are the laws of indices. So if you have a question like um, 3 over 2, then to the power negative to according to indices it should come out like uh, it should come out like one over and this one should be three over two then to power two then this one again comes out like um, one divided by three over two power two which simply means one divided by uh, 3 power 2 over 2 power 2, which simply means 1 divided by um, 3 power 2, 9 over 2 power 2, 4. Then this one again comes out like uh, 1, then it changes to multiplication 4 over 9, then you say 1 times 4 over nine it just give, gives you four over nine so basically these are the steps that you should take according to the laws of indices for you to answer this question okay then the next we have this question here this question says factorize completely 2x 2ax plus 4ay minus 3bx minus 6by so again you pick it like 2ax plus 4ay minus 3bx minus 6by so such a question is answered by grouping so you group this one again you group this one like that so you look for common factors in these so here the common factor is 2 and a because 2 can go in itself and also in 2, 4. So you factor it out as 2a, then you introduce the bracket. Then here once 2a have been factored out, you remain with x plus. Here once 2 has been factored out and a, you remain with 2y. Then you close brackets, then you say minus. Then here the common factor also are 3. And B3 in itself, it can go as well as in 6. And then we have B and B here. So you say 3B, then you open bracket. Here you remain with X. Here you put 2. Basically, you follow 2 here. So it should be 2. Then here, I mean positive because of the positive here. Then here, basically, you remain with the, a 2. Once the 3 has been factored out, and then you remain with Y. So you have 2 why like that now again you check on this side this is one term up to here and this is another term so on this part of the term you discover that you have um, uh, x plus 2 y and x plus 2 y which is common so you factor it out as x plus 2 y put it in brackets then open here you remain with it 2a once this one is factored out so 2a then uh, minus here you remain with 3b so basically this is how this is supposed to be answered okay then in another question is uh, this one here okay so we have this other question here which is says uh, simplify three open brackets so let me write it simplify three open brackets 4x minus 5 close brackets plus 2 so these are simplification questions 
so you to simplify it means you make simple so you get rid of the brackets so you multiply 3 by everything in the bracket so 3 times 4x you get like 12x then 3 times negative 5 you get like negative 15 then you say plus uh, 2 okay then after you do that this becomes a collection of like terms so if you check here this is a, a term with a variable these are constants so constants you add them they are like terms so you say 12x so 15 negative 15 plus 2 it gives you like negative 13 like that as your answer okay so another one is um this question here where we have solved this one here so we have to solve like um this question here i hope you can see it 4y squared minus 8y is equal to uh, 0 so you have 4 let me just push it like that this is 4 y squared minus 8 y is equal to 0 so this is the one here okay so they want us to find the value of uh, y so first of all this is a quadratic equation so we need to factor out so we have to say we have to factor out the common factors which are 4y here then here we remain with y minus here we remain with 2 like that then equals to 0 so such an equation like this one can be uh, likened to values like b so here you are multiplying two terms rather you are multiplying this one with this one to give you zero so for you to be able to find zero let's say this term we give it a this one b then zero then it means it is either um, b is the one that can give you zero because any number multiplied by zero it is zero or it is a that is leading to giving this whole term zero so how do we tackle such a situation so we do it like this so we always say 4y must be equal to 0 or either uh, y minus 2 is the one which is equal to 0 then then what we do now we say okay we make y the subject of the formula so we'll say, uh, we'll say 4y is equal to 0 so we'll say over 4 over 4 then we we'll get our y is equal to 0 or then we we'll get y this one becomes y we make y the subject of the formula this crosses the other side it becomes positive 2 and 0 amounts to nothing so we we'll have only 2 here so this becomes our answers so uh, y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 2 so if our answers are correct they must give us zero when we get back to this original equation. If we place them here, they must give us zero. Okay. So let's just try to prove if our answers are correct. So we'll say, um, we'll pick, let's say four. Let's try if we put zero here, we'll say, okay, zero squared minus, uh, then um, we'll say eight again here, zero then is equal to zero then here zero squared it will be zero then eight times zero zero equals zero then four times zero zero minus zero zero so it is true it is true that uh, y is zero so the one we found that y should be zero goes in then the one we found that y is equal to two again we place it there so four there so where there is in uh, here where there is y we put in 2 to the power 2 minus 8 again 2 is equal to 0 then we'll say 4 2 to the power 2 4 then here we'll say 8 times 2 16 is equal to 0 4 times 4 16 16 minus 16 here is 0 so both our answers are correct so the value of y should either be 0 or 2 in order for 4y to the power 2 minus 8y to be equal to 0 so basically these are the few questions that i wanted uh, the revisions that i wanted to do with you i hope 
this has really helped you with something you didn't know if it has helped you please like the video if it has not please dislike the video as for now bye and see you in the other lesson please peace